News at 5, we begin with a promise to get justice for a toddler who was shot in her bed. I'm Scott Wickersham. I'm Erica Bryant. The little girl is the second person to die after gunshots were fired into a home in Salisbury. Channel 9's Hannah Getz first reported this as breaking news today at noon. And Hannah, the police chief said he will not rest until he finds out who did this. Yeah, hey, Erica, that's right. The chief said over and over again today he is angry. He said this act of violence is even difficult to comprehend at this time. A three year old little girl and her great grandfather are now dead and police believe someone out there has the information they need to bring this family justice. But what occurred in our community on August the 10th was one of the most egregious acts of violence that I've ever encountered. Salisbury Police Chief PJ Smith says more than 30 shots were fired into this home filled with adults and children on Rowan Mills Road on Saturday, August 10th, around 5.30 a.m. 80-year-old Charles William was shot and killed while in his recliner in the home. It's nothing short of tragic that an 80-year-old man has been senselessly murdered in such a brutal fashion. William's three-year-old great-granddaughter, Maisha Angle, was also shot while asleep in her bunk bed. The chief says she fought for her life for more than a week until she passed away at the hospital Monday afternoon. This child never got to experience the joys and milestones that we often take for granted. Her first day of school, making friends, and growing up by surrounded by love and opportunity. Her future was stolen. And that's something that should fill everyone with outrage and sorrow. This picture shows a four door white car, possibly the suspects leaving the scene. This deadly shooting came just two days after shots were fired into the same home, but no one was hit. Police say this was not a random act. They believe this man, Kevin Antonio Smith, was one of the intended targets. He was arrested last week after leading police on a pursuit from Salisbury to Charlotte. Salisbury PD is working with the FBI, ATF, Homeland Security, and the DA's office to arrest what they believe will be multiple suspects, and they are pleading for anyone with information to come forward. This is not a crime against two innocent victims. It's a crime against the very fabric of our community. If you're not saying something, you're not coming forward, you're just as guilty as the person that pulled the trigger in my eyes. I asked the chief this morning if this is gang related. He said he can't confirm, but it is consistent with gang behavior. Now again, police are still looking for what they believe will be multiple suspects. We have all the information you need to report and you can remain anonymous. That's on our website right now, WSOCTV.com. Live in Salisbury, Hannah gets Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Hannah, hopefully the chief's strong words and the loss of that baby girl will compel someone to come.